go in the second period and now the Mallards are on a power play for the next 55, 59 seconds. Tristan Llewellyn in his own zone, settles it down, sends it right to Ty Rimmer, takes a bounce and just goes over his glove, but wider than that, oh my goodness. 9.40 left in the second period, 40 seconds left on the Mallards power play. They're unable to get in the rush zone and the rush will promptly send it the length of the ice. All Ty Rimmer can do is watch it bounce right to his crease and he'll play it on a tee for his power play unit that now has exactly a half a minute left on it. Matt Boyd can't get through the neutral zone of Bobby Priest. Jergo Nagy will play it back in neutral ice and try to set up what he can of his power play. Not much going for the Mallards on this man advantage. The rush penalty kill has been absolutely lethal right now. Here comes Vladimir Nikiforov. Through the neutral zone, breaks all three lines, tries to go off of his back skate, can't get a handle on the puck. Winston Daychief sends Nikiforov into the boards. Puck comes out to Farina. He'll go ahead and bank that one. Last time was 59 seconds. To the glove side of Tim Boron we go. Jergo Nagy, Justin Farina in the dot. And the faceoff's won by Farina, he kicks it back. He's sitting on top of the puck, it's still loose. Finally bounces right in front of Boron's net. And Brett Kostolanski will rifle that puck the length of the ice on a backhand. Great play by the Rookie of the Year finalist. Most outstanding defenseman finalist, Nicholas Ryu, takes that one for the Mallards. And now here he comes through the neutral zone. Drops it back. Nagy almost turns it over to Farina. He's able to get a stick check and slow down Nagy's speed. Nagy will play that one to Ryu. He is on his horse through the neutral zone. He'll send that one up to Matt Boyd. Boyd takes a hit on the play. Here comes Weslowski with it. Weslowski rifles that one off the near wall. Takes a bounce off of Matt Boyd's head. It's gloved down by Manfredo at the point. Justin Farina able to send that one in the neutral zone. Can he get around his oncoming assailant? No, he can't. Manfredo over the blue line. Sends it to the far wall. Here comes Weslowski pressing him off the puck. Weslowski able to play that one to the near wall. Manfredo wants a high stick. He's not going to get it, though. And now here come the rush. Once again, Tristan Llewellyn will send that puck the length of the ice. Great start by the rush. Penalty kill so far. Riley Weslowski made a lot of that se sequence happen. Tying up Manfredo behind the net. He was still complaining at one point to Trevor Harding that he didn't get a high stick. We've got now 3.30 left in regulation. 50 seconds left on the power play for the Mallards. Frizee breaks every line. Drops it back to Levesque. Levesque on the far wall through traffic. Sends it down low. Pass deflected by Priest. Back at the point. Dide Favo. Levesque on the far wall now. Levesque sends that one down low. Centering pass comes out in front. Breezes by everybody. And trying to settle the puck and send it out was Jesse Schultz. Took a couple of skips and hops over his blade. Puck in the near corner of the rush zone. Schultz comes out with it and rifles it, but it's batted down on the play by Dide Favo. Here comes Dade Chief on his horse with one man to beat. He'll just go ahead and send that puck deep in the Mallard zone and still continue his forecheck. Tie the play up. Day Chief has three Mallards around him and still keeps the puck down there. The Mallards now have 10 seconds to use on their man advantage. Dide Favo drops that one for Levesque with speed through the neutral zone. Levesque tries to flip that one on net. He is stopped by the rush defense. Dide Favo at the point. We're back to full strength.